Welcome back to HodgePodge. Today, guys, I will be winging it. I'm not reading off a script. What my goal is, is to do kind of a non-traditional tutorial and get you up to speed in Illustrator, all the basics, what you need to know. I'm going to do maybe a series of a couple of videos that are a little bit longer than the traditional videos of where I'm just doing the short snippets. This video is just going to be kind of more longer explanation for those who are getting started and want an in detail description of how to use Illustrator and the pen tool. So this, this tutorial in particular will be on the pen tool. So I'm just going to show you how to go about this really. And when I was taught how to use the pen tool when I was first starting, my professor had me trace these tattoos, these tribal tattoos. So I'm just going to speak out loud what it is I'm doing so you can follow along. Um, basically, we'll start by hitting P for the pen tool and we'll find a point to start at. It could be any point. I'll start right here. And so then you want to find your second point. And we can click and drag without letting go and find exactly where the curve lie. Now you can see maybe up into the top there it's it's not filling in quite right. So maybe we have to move our point up here. But Basically, so what you can do from here, because that you can see that this bottom vector is warping this our next line, what you would hit is Shift C. You would get rid of that bottom vector. So my best way to explain this is if you ever took a basic physics class in high school, these are vectors just like you would see in in your physics class in high school. So we could click and drag out another vector, but we're going to leave one right in because we want to start drawing out our next curve. We'll select the point and we'll drag that one out as well. We could select again, but that's not what we want. We want to delete. So we're going to hit P again for the pen tool. Click here. And we're not going to click and drag. We're going to. Now we want to find the point within this curve where the vertex of the curve is. So looking along here, right here it gets a little flat. So we'll click right there and we'll click and we'll pull. See how close we can get it. That's pretty darn close. And again, that's going to mess with our next curve. So we can hit Shift C. Click on that first. Uh, holding Shift, you'll click on this. If you just clicked it, it would get rid of the vectors. So we're going to Command Z on that. Shift click get rid of that vector. P again for the pen. Uh, click and hold. We'll drag our vector out just a little bit and we're letting go to stop that. Click and hold. Drag out our next vector. Click and hold. Drag out our next vector. Whoop, Command Z. I didn't like that. Click and hold to draw out our next vector. There we go. You can also click and hold here. And I'm not doing a perfect job of this, guys, but if you were to spend enough time, you could get this exact. So P again for pen. Gonna click there and find the vertex here. And if it ever gets confusing, you can go over here and get rid of your fill. And then we'll come back over here and click at the what we think to be the vertex and done there and so this this is again gonna be maybe a little bit difficult we'll try and do this hey there we go that worked out perfectly shift C shift click and then click on that vector there and P for pen click on that point and then find the next point there we go. Shift C, click P for pen, click there, and click there. So there you go, guys. It's it's uh, after a while you'll get a rhythm down. You can see this curve is going to be a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll do like a two-point curve for this one. We'll put a point here and a point here and see that's how we'll get uh, something that matches up a little ni more nicely. Shift C, get rid of that vector. P, click 
click on the last point, click there, find our next point, our vector. We'll go P for pen again. Shift C, P for pen again. And drag out our last vector right there. And so there you go, guys. That is uh, that is fully traced, that one portion. We just did that right there. That's what that looks like. We could go back and neaten this up at any time. Just hit Shift-C, and that's what you would use to edit these. Just click once to get rid of the vectors. Command-Z. And click and hold to adjust these vectors. And if you wanted to adjust just one vector, you would just pull on that handle. So that is that. Uh, if you ever wanted to get rid of one of these, uh, you could just use the minus, um, shortcut minus for subtracting a point, and uh, shortcut, you know, the addition sign plus to add a point. And the neat thing is, whenever you add a point, the vectors will automatically be drawn to the curve that already exists. So we can hit Shift C and then drag that out, and then you get really interesting things. If I were to create like a leg off of this, I certainly could. So that is the very basics of the pen tool. I recommend you start this way with tracing these tribal tattoos. That's how I learned and it was very helpful. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this style was better than my typical scripted voiceover. So let me know what you like in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment, subscribe. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can find a little circle up in the top right. It'll have an eye and whatever you could do would definitely help out quite a bit. I would like to make this my full-time job. I'm always balancing many things at once. So thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned. Check out my other videos and subscribe.